Hi everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and thank you for joining me for today's video. So today I thought I would sit down and just go through my trash for the month. Um, it's it's not it's not too bad. Normally I wait till it overflows, um, and this month I feel I've got a lot of minis to, in here because I've used up a lot of little Birchbox products. So I thought we'd just see what we can go through, and yeah, let's get stuck so in. So up first, I'll try and do some of the products that I tend to do every month. So we have a pack of the cleansing facial wipes with cucumber extract from Tesco. The only thing that I'm starting to find with the bugbear of these is they come in packs of 25. And clearly there are 30 to 31 days in the month. So I'm buying these just over once a month, which is a little bit annoying, but beggars can't be choosers. Um, another thing you always see is Silverkin, and it is the yellow one, which is the firm hold in the massive can this time. This is a 400ml can. Um, something slightly different from last time is I normally will show you the Tesco shaving foam, but they didn't have any last month, so I tried something different. This is the Satin Care with Olay extracts in it for sensitive skin. I found this absolutely no different to the normal one, and this is double the price, so just try to do the Tesco one. Don't go for the Satin Care one, unless it's on offer. That's what I did. Okay, next little load. We'll start off with acetone. You've seen this quite a lot. This is probably every two months I go through a little bottle of this. I need to start getting a big bottle and then decanting it into this because it's getting expensive buying the little ones so often. But it's just the Sally surfaces. You've seen these before. Um, also, you've also seen before the everyday cotton pads. I use these for makeup removal and for nail polish removal from Tesco's. They are a bargain. I've gone through those again. Now on to some different stuff. I felt really bad when I looked at last month's um, empties because I think I just was talking about the same stuff that I had been the previous few months. So I found... I not... Not on purpose, but I happen to have gone through quite a lot of things I don't normally. So, this get into the new stuff. So, the first things, I've actually run out of both of these. I'm going to be sounding really weird, but I actually normally alternate always, everything I alternate by at least two things. And I was alternating between these two for um, facial washes. These are the ones that I would use on the non-exfoliant day. So, I tend to, like, opposite. So I do one day I'll exfoliate, the next day I'll use this, and so on and so forth. And then between those cleansing days, I would then use one of these two washes. And these are the, the gentle washes with no exfoliants in them at all. The first one up is the Clean and Clear Truly Gentle um, Facial Wash. I've never actually seen this before. I bought it when I was someone, somewhere really random. I just needed one because I've never used it before. And I did really like it. It literally was gentle. You didn't feel like your face had a, a very, a very far... That doesn't make any sense. No, you've had it, your face had a thorough clean, but it doesn't feel like it's been... Does this make any sense to you? I don't think it makes any sense to me. I like it. Buy it. Um, the other one that I would use in conjunction with that is the Witch Hazel Naturally Clear with Hazel Extracts Gentle Exfoliating Face Wash. This says it's an exfoliator, but there is no exfoliants in it at all. So if you're buying this for that reason, it's don't buy it. But other than that, Again, a good product. This is actually in the limited edition pump bottle. Normally, I think it's just in one of one of sort of this shaped bottle. Um, so if you want to find this, look for the other shape. But yeah, I would happily repurchase. Out of the two, I prefer the clean and clear one, just because, like I say, I don't know. I just it just felt like it had no nothing. Well, it says as mild as pure water, and that's what it felt like. It felt you just splashed your face with water, but you had some effects to it. I don't know, I can't I can't describe it, I'm not very good at stuff like this. And um, the other thing that I did mention in a video, which I will link down below for you, which is my three things that I use every single day and never talk about, and this is the Frizz Ease Heat Defense from John Fried, and this is the heat protecting spray. I'm sorry I don't have any uh, nail polish on guys today as well, I've just literally taken some off. Um, I love this, I've repurchased it, I will continue to repurchase it. It's just something really nice about it, and I don't know why, I feel like my hair's got a lot better with it, so yeah, definitely loving that. Um, then to some birch box samples. These are all so sticky. The first one is the Vasanti Detox Purifying Facial Cleanser. Didn't like this, absolutely not. It had sort of a um, like royal jelly shiny look to it when you poured it out. Uh, yeah, I didn't like the smell of it. If, if you get it in your eyes, it stings. I hate stuff that's not for eyes when it comes to cleansing because I really love to get in there and getting close to the eye. Um, yeah, definitely would never buy the full size of that. That was not very good. The other product that I've used is the Clean Around the Clock Shower Gel. I'm just looking in the bag because I think I've got something from the same brand. Do I? Oh yeah, I do. It's, it's down the bottom. It's in there. So I got these two, which is from Along Came Betty, um, and this is the Clean Around the Clock Shower Gel, which is Sweet Mandarins. Um, I really didn't like the smell of this, and that's surprising because they're very similar in scent. 
The first one, obviously, this is the shower gel. I didn't, I think I only used it to wash with once. Other than that, I would put it in as a kind of like a bit of a smelt and like a bath. It didn't really lather up, but I don't know, it just made it smell a bit mandarin-y. But I didn't really love the smell. The other one is the So Much Bubble by Along Came Betsy. And this has actually got orange oil in it. And this smell divine. So I don't really understand the difference between mandarin and orange. But obviously, there is a difference to my snout. Um, yeah, bubbled up amazingly. Actually, it is so much bubble. Um, I use this in probably three or four goes. I tend to put a lot of product in to the bath for some reason. I don't know. And then from Birchbox, I just got a little shower gel. And this is the Gilchrist, Gilchrist and Soames Mineral Gel Bath. Um, this was fine. Nothing special. Just cleaned me up nicely. I haven't found a shower gel that lathers for ages. I just came to just like the kind of wash them on your skin, no lather, so it was our it. Next lot, I used up another pack of facial cleansing wipes. I think this is probably from just about six weeks of products or two months, I'm not 100% sure, I'll have to look and put it in the video title. I used up uh, a perfume sample, this is a Prada perfume sample, it's just, is it just Prada Prada? Or Prada Milan? I don't know, but I used it up anyway, it smelled nice, um, which I can't even remember where I got that. Um, the other thing that I used up was an eye makeup remover. This is the L'Oreal Palette Paris Gentle Makeup Remover. Um, it's in this tub. I actually got this for 50 pence in Tesco's because the cap was slightly broken. It didn't affect anything when it came to the product. But yeah, um, I like this. Um, if you put too much on, it tended to make my eyes sting. If I used a little bit, it was okay. But I just think for a product that was, it says suitable for sensitive eyes and it I don't feel like it is. Um, if you use a lot of this, I just feel that it's not too good on the eyes, so I wouldn't probably repurchase it unless it was 50p again. Um, I used up a shampoo. Um, it looks like I've still got some in here, but I cannot get that out for the life of me. This is the Tommy Guns Promigranate and Orange Flower Shampoo. This is a full-size product that we got in Birchbox. I love this. Kind of similar to the face wash. I'm not going to be able to describe it, but it's just very gentle and lathered up really nicely, smelt nicely, but then I would have wanted the hair, the smell to linger in my hair a little bit more, but overall really, really great shampoo. Um, I'm considering buying this from Birchbox and you know that never happens. Last other product from Birchbox is a Aromatherapy Associates bath and shower oil in Revive Morning. So it was this big and this apparently was one bath load, so I poured it in the bath. Um, it smelled, I love the aromatherapy smelling stuff anyway, so that wasn't really a problem. Yeah, it smelled really good. I mixed it in with something else in the bath, but I did feel like my skin was slightly softer after using it. It's probably not, not worth the £40 to me that it would be to get a big bottle, but I enjoyed using the little sample. Okay, on to the last load. I used up a toothpaste, and this was the Colgate Max White toothpaste. It was alright. Um, I used up some other Birchbox stuff. Let me show you that first. I used up a Cordially Broad Spectrum SPF Day Perfecting Fluid. Now, I use this kind of as a moisturiser in the mornings. It was okay. My main problem with it was that the, this is where the product starts. This is all air. So I just felt like, I don't know, a bit of, I'm going to say piss take. It was a bit of a piss take. I felt like I had a big sample and it actually wasn't that big of a sample after all. Um, similarly, this is from the Ico Skinny Mini. These are hard words to say, guys, honestly. Skinny Mini Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Um, I've had this for a while. I'd probably say about four months um, I loved it to start with. I don't really wear a lot of liquid eyeliner, but I really love the pen applicator. And now look at it. My camera's falling. I don't know if you saw that. But yeah, um, it's just very patchy. There we are. Um, so yeah, if you can see, I don't know if you can see from my lovely drawings, it's very patchy and yeah, it, it's it's dead. And I, don't, I know people say liquid liners don't last that long, but for me, I expected it to last a little bit longer than four months. Also in Birchbox, a product that I absolutely loved, and this is Naobay's Moisturising Milk Cleanser. <sighs> I don't know if it's just me, getting, I can't get my words out, or if there's just really, really long titles and products. This was an amazing cleanser. Again, this is similar to the Tommy Guns. I think I'm probably going to buy this off of Birchbox. It was so good, so clean. It gave you a little bit of lather for um, a cleansing milk, which is unusual, but I don't know. I just felt really clean. I love the scent. I loved this. I loved it. And that's not, I don't always say that, but I loved it. I'll do a product that I didn't love. 
<laughs> I'm joking. I actually did love this, but that was a good. That wasn't wasn't a very good segue. And um, this is the Silk and Honey Shea Butter Hair Mask. Now, this stuff, my friends, you can see I've got a little bit left. Was literally like putting actual butter out of your fridge onto your hair. Um, I know my hair is thin, but geez louise, once I put this in one time, my hair was like, I hadn't washed it for a week. It was that greasy and disgusting. I'm, I'm, there's no exaggeration in that, abs absolutely none. So I use this as a shaving gel instead, because my I was in between one day, and normally you meant to use conditioner, that's what people say, so I thought, hell, I'm going to use this conditioner. And it was really nice as a shaving foam, because it obviously had the shea butter in it. So, milk, silk and honey, just put label this as shaving gel and I might buy it. Um, I used up a mini because I was obviously jet setting around doing my honeymoon and stuff um, and this is a Aussie Miracle Moist shampoo. Now Aussie Moist shampoo is so goddamn expensive, I don't know if you know, it's about £6 a bottle. So I just treat myself every now and then to a big bottle, a little bottle. It's amazing, if you can afford it, buy it, love it, but I just can't justify spending £6 on shampoo. Obviously for a big bottle, not for this one, but yeah. I do love it. It's a great, it's a great product if you've got, if you've got, if you've got the money. To finish me up, we have two mascaras. I actually had five mascaras on the go this month, and that is um, disgusting, basically. So I decided that I would try and use one at a time and get them going down because I also have three that I'm about to try. Um, I just got the Jordana Best Lash Extreme, so. I'm pumped to use that, so if you have anyone's used that, let me know down below because I've heard it's amazing. The first product was the Scandalize Show Off. Now, Scandalize from Rimmel has come out in various carnation, incarnations. I'm wearing actually one right now, which is the Kate Moss version. Um, a lot of people didn't really like the applicator on this brush. So it's obviously the classic, I don't really like material bristles before I start talking, if this makes sense. Um, the classic, like, plastic bristles, and at the end they've got this little, little nibbly don't know what you want to call that. Um, I did actually really like it. I tend to I tended to ignore it for the for the main application, and then I would kind of go back and just extend them all as individuals. I've gone so many videos without my camera being like tilted on the tripod, and now all of a sudden it's happening to me. So I apologise for that. Um, so yeah, I then would then kind of go back in and individually extend them if that makes sense. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase because mascaras like Dima does, and you can pick up a good one. Or anywhere really but um, it was a good product if you do see it on offer and you want to go for it freaking buy one they're they're all right they're more than all right thank god I've only got one more product to talk to you about because the camera is falling this is Maybelline the rocket now please switch off at this point if you haven't heard about Maybelline the rocket because you've been living under a rock this is amazing this is I mate the I'm lost for words. This is the applicator, so obviously right up my street, and I got the waterproof one, um, just because I don't, I don't really like waterproof mascaras. Not a lot of people do, but I, I really do. Look at that. Can you hear that? Oh, I wish there was some product left in this. This is absolutely amazing. Go out and buy it. There's um, waterproof, there's brown, there's black. It's just literally one of the best, like, drugstore mascaras ever. Ever. This has been a crazy video, so thank you for putting up with me. Um, these are my empties for, I think it's July, August and September, or just August and September. I can't remember, I'll, I'll leave it at the top in the titles. So thank you so much for watching, keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking. Um, thank you to all my subscribers, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.